figureheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video. And today I'm excited to talk about one of our brand new matrices, the BG-4K-44MA. That's a four x four matrix. That's four inputs to four outputs. And as you can see, I have it set up behind me. So this allows you to uh, matrix switch all your inputs and sources on uh, multiple displays. This is a fantastic unit. It supports 4K at 60 at 444 and it makes switching very easy. As always, it has multiple options for control. You can do the IR remote, the buttons on front, the TCP IP, which is the web GUI, also RS-232 commands. So you're looking to control it with uh, any sort of external control system or over the web or just with the remote, this can do it for you. Also, if you're looking to embed or extract audio, this allows for it as well. It's a very simple unit. Uh, we're excited to jump in and talk about it. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first things first, as always, let's go over our setup. As you can see, we have four sources. We have uh, just a media player. We have some Apple TV, just a movie playing on there. Our PS5 Pro, some Gran Turismo 7, and also a Chromecast. So this is a great unit for multiple environments where you have multiple sources, maybe like at a sports bar or at home where you have multiple like Blu-ray players, media players, or even gaming systems if you want them all on different TVs, or if you have four cable boxes, if you want to watch four different football games whatever it may be or if you have the TV spread out you can actually switch the sources on different TVs or also if you have a larger home multiple stories if you have TV spread out in different rooms this is a great unit just plug it into this maybe I have to extend it a little bit because of the limitations of HDMI uh, but this allows you to kind of do all switching from just from the unit so for today's demonstration I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the web GUI and uh, you typically sometimes I go through a network switch but for today I'm just gonna connect directly so I'm I'm just going to take an Ethernet cable from my uh, laptop, go directly into the Ethernet port. Uh, so first things first also is just make sure uh, I'm just going to leave it on the default IP address. I'm just going to hit menu, go down to setup, hit enter, go down to network. Uh, DACP is off. That's what I want. And the default is 192.168.0.100. I'm just going to log into the default. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing before I log into the web GUI, since the the unit is on default. I need to set my network card to match the uh, subnet of that. So I'm just gonna show you how I did that real quick to talk to it, because I'm not using local networks, I'm not using DHCP. So I just go to my uh, network connections, I go to TCP IP4, I hit OK, oh, no, properties, sorry, right click it, and then I'm gonna hit double click this and as you can see I put a use a static IP of 192.168.0 201 as long as it's not 200 you could put anything you want because um, there's you're only having communication between the two units so any number will be open um, and then I just put a subnet the typical 3255 and a zero and then the default gateway and hit OK so um, just a little side note there so let's go ahead and log in here 192.168.0.200, or no, sorry, um, no, it's 200, no, 100, <laughs> it's 100, there you go, and we got our fancy new logo, very excited to be talking about that, launching that, so, and uh, like always, password and login, admin, admin, um, so just a quick breakdown of the tabs here, you got your status, all the uh, different firmware versions, the, the current IP address, uh, uh, MAC address, and so forth. Uh, video, here is where you're, there's two actually two spots where you can do the switching, here is um, you can do your uh, matrix switching right here, and also you can save some presets. Also on this actually matrix one, you can do that as well. So, and then also real quick, you can actually go on the input tab and label each input. So this is, I'm just gonna do it real quick. This is BZB, this is Apple TV, I'm gonna hit tab, this is the PS5, and then we have a Chromecast. Just how simple that is. And then I'll go back to the video here and you can see we got our inputs. So if I wanted to do switching right here, matrix, actually I prefer this one. If I want to put like the all BZB on all four TVs, I just go right here, all outputs to all BZB and boom, there you go. If I want to do all Chromecast, same thing right there. 
and boom. That's how simple it is the matrixing is. Um, also on this page, just how simple it is. If I wanna switch it up, I want output two, I could be Apple TV, I just click on that. Output three, I want that the PS5. Output four, we'll make actually output one, BZB, just click on the output first. And there you go. What's great about this unit, audio matrixing. So as you can see on here, tab, this tab, you can actually select the audio if you only want the audio only. Um, so if I want the audio from like our Apple TV movie to be playing on maybe output one, I can go here and say Apple TV audio. So as you can see, you can't hear it, but on input one, you got the BZB video, but I, um, actually the sound from the movie is playing on output one as well so uh, really cool function also you can do that with the ex audio extractor right here um, this is how you do your audio matrixing you can actually uh, bind it to the output or bind it to, or excuse me bind it to the input or bind it to the output and then audio matrixing so you can switch between um, what audio you want from any source on any output also this supports arc so if you have a tv that you know a smart tv everything's on the tv already you can use that output on that if that tv supports arc um, you can use that as your audio source as well so uh, really cool feature um, as always cec got your network settings if you want to put on dhcp um, but Really simple, uh, really straight to the point. Um, one thing I'm also, it, this will be also on our uh, BGB switch control app as well. So if you're looking to control it over, maybe a simpler version on the Windows or Mac or even iPhone, iPad, whatever it may be, you can uh, control it there. Um, but yeah, very simple. So I like to put it back to normal or see, let's do, so if I, I'll just, for instance, I'll do all PS5 right now. Boom, and then point to point, that's back to that's back to kind of the default setting, input one, output one, input two, input two. So I, I, this is one of my favorite features, just gets everything back to normal. So if I click on this, are you sure? Yes, okay. And as you can see, everything's back to setup. And lastly, your system tab here, you know, well, one of my favorite functions is turning off the beep, but if you're looking to firmware update right here or factory reset or just give it a reboot, you can do it all on the system settings right here. Well, there you have it, GearHeads, another fantastic unit from BZB Gear, our brand new 4K matrix, the BG-4K-44MA. It is a fantastic unit, like I mentioned, for multiple environments, easy to audio matrix, audio extraction, audio embedding, video switching over multiple ways to control. Like I said, I, cover, I think I covered it all. As always, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, leave them in the comments below. Love to hear from you, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. As always, if you have any questions or have any Speed, speed bumps that you're with your setup or anything hit us up at support we'd we'll love to help you get over that speed bump or if you're looking to see how this be a good fit for your environment always hit up to any of our sales associates and as always don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out and as always have a great day